Let's take a look at the lone pairs for H2S. This is hydrogen sulfide. The first thing we need to do when we look at lone pairs, we need a valid Lewis structure. So this is the Lewis structure for H2S. If you need help with that, there's a link at the end of the video and in the description. So we have our Lewis structure. The lone pairs, those are the ones that aren't between atoms. They're not involved in chemical bonds. We call them unbonded pairs of electrons as well. Right here and here. These are the two lone pairs of electrons on H2S. These electrons right here, they're between atoms and they're shared in what's called a covalent bond. So these are bonding electrons, bonding pairs of electrons. But these are the lone pairs for H2S. We have one, two, two lone pairs for H2S. These are kind of important because they determine the molecular geometry. Let's take a look at that. So the lone pairs, these ones right here, are these lone pairs here, they actually occupy space and they push the hydrogen atoms down. So we end up with a bent molecular geometry for H2S. And that's because of these two lone pairs here. The bonding pairs are often represented by a line here to show that it's a chemical bond between the atoms. This is Dr. B with the number of lone pairs for H2S, hydrogen sulfide. Thanks for watching.